Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I'm working on cleaning my grout here in my entryway and my kitchen area. It's been about two years since it was last cleaned so I wanted to get to it before it got any worse. Hopefully you guys find this video helpful. If you do, don't forget to give it a thumbs up because this truly helps out my channel. This Lysol cleaner right here smells really good. It's the mango and hibiscus scent, which is my favorite scent by their cleaning products. I've never actually used it on my floors before and I really liked it. My floors were clean and it didn't leave any kind of sticky residue like some of the other floor cleaners tend to do. This is the Goo Gone Grout and Tile Cleaner. I bought it off of Amazon for $7.08. The instructions said to let it sit for about two minutes, so that's what I did before scrubbing it. In my opinion, a lot of the grout cleaners were a little pricey, and this is one of the few that I found um, on the cheaper end. I then repeated the process with the Method All-Purpose Cleaner. This is in the lavender scent. My dad absolutely loves using this stuff on his grout, so I wanted to compare the both of them. I will say that spraying the Goo Gone product on the grout lines was not the easiest. It was a little tricky and takes a little bit of practice, but the method cleaner was a whole lot easier to spray directly on the grout lines. Since we're on the subject of grout cleaning, I did want to mention that if you have the little Bissell steam shot, it does come with a grout cleaning attachment and that works really well at cleaning your grout. I actually wore mine out so I need to purchase a replacement, but I would always use that to spot clean my grout down here and it works fantastic. It truly does get your grout clean. Also the good thing about it is you're not using any sort of chemicals, it's just water so you just really have to dry it up afterwards, whereas using the products that I'm using today, 
I did have to then go in and wipe it all up with water so I just used a clean mop head but I had to constantly be rinsing it out the con about the Bissell steam shot I would say though is it does have to reheat itself quite often so if you're working with a large space that can be a bit annoying also you're bent over pretty low compared to using the grout cleaning tool that I was using today but if you're gonna be working with a small area such as your bathroom or maybe a laundry room or something like that I would say go for your Bissell Steve shot for sure It really does have to dry for at least a few hours to get a true picture of just how clean the grout is and I did not wait that long before getting my after pics but at least you can get a good idea of how clean the grout got. Ay, it doesn't matter what you're gonna say Ay, I just need time right now I'm going alone tonight I don't need nobody else but me the cleaning tool that I'm using is a shower cleaning brush that I had purchased from Amazon for $18.98. It does come with several attachments and the one that I'm using is specifically for your grout. So the bristles are pretty strong and thick and it really does do a good job at getting in the actual grout lines and scrubbing in there. You're my music but you tear me to pieces to be honest with you guys this took me a good while i was very tired in the end i truly did not feel like sealing my grout afterwards but thankfully my dad said that he'll seal it for me the next morning so i'm very grateful for that in my opinion now that everything is fully dried i think that the method cleaner did a better job goo gone was good but method was better i really hope that you guys enjoyed this video i also really hope that i will see you next week for a brand new video and with that being said you already know don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one oh,